Castillo and minor league pitch. Rain once again, and underneath all of that, the wind begins to pick up, especially in the afternoon and evening. Yeah. So if women are considered just... With our returning rainfall in the mid to upper 50s, so pretty mild, but remember, wet is the story. 57 in Renton, 56 in downtown Seattle. Tacoma, you'll also have 56 degrees. Now to the north, our temperatures will be in the lower 50s. Wind will also pick up. Gray skies also dominate, and yes, the rain comes uh, roaring on back in here again. We put a lot of emphasis on what's happening down in the southern reaches of the Olympic Mountain Range, where once again, we've got a flood warning on... And even exclusive more at risk to eat. That's why we're concerned about the Skokomish. We have 55 Chehalis, 55 in Longview, and 57 in Portland. Up in the Cascades, our freezing level will stay right around four to 6,000 feet, so we got some snow above that level. And east of the Cascades, temperatures pretty much in the 50s and the upper 40s. By the way, we seem to be picked on here in the Northwest weather-wise. If you're traveling every place else in the country, gonna bring you some sunshine, pretty much, and relatively warm temperatures for this time of year. No delays that I could find. Scattered showers in tonight, then tomorrow we For many of you, medications called Roll, the story of small town music. In front of the smallest crowd in GM plays basketball history, 11,453. Sharif with 12. Arvidsson, in Arvidsonian fashion, doing the honors. Suddenly it's 3-3. Rangers had 14 shots in this third period, but they were having all sorts of trouble with Patrick Lalane. Yeah, till the well, day you know, after. I want to give it. Rest of the key. And reducing the risk. Uh, right, 2 o'clock today, I kind of felt like I was finished. The way they... <laughs> That's true. It was really... The rain was pounding it was down. really coming down. Thank you, yeah. Steve. The Sonics try to work a little magic against the Wizards. Eric Johnson with the highlights next. And Sir Charles learns the real meaning of a shack attack. But first, that list of names we promised you if the state owes you anything. Really due to the controversy. But a rain circle. Well, I don't know that there'd be any pot of gold at the end of this. I think you'd be dizzy by the time you tried to find the end of it. But why did we get the rain circle? It's because the sun was so low on the horizon. It's something we don't often see, needless to say. 50 degrees over downtown Seattle right now. Barometric pressure is rising. There were other... A positive sign, is it in this case? Let's turn to our first alert Doppler radar, and as we do so, see mostly light scattered shower activity, the most concentrated activity over the eastern and southern... <laughs> Well, it took us from being has-beens and made us into classics, and we've been working. Stayed in between our broadcasts, not a problem. Just go to our website at king5.com. Now let's take a look at the range of precipitation we had today. The wettest place, that was at Covington. You picked up more than a quarter of an inch or one and a quarter inch of rain. Amanda Park over in Lake Winault, three quarters of an inch of rain, and as you just saw from radar, still adding to it. A little more than seven years. Looking at a night school and Leavenworth over on the east side of the Cascades. You Cascades, most of them just three hundredths of an inch of rain. Checking some of our other school nut sites, we'll see that those rain fall. But Chinook was reporting rain, stampede. Up to, well, 1.27. That's just updated from continued rainfall in Covington. So has this been an unusually wet November? Well, let's take a look at the statistics. And as we do so, we'll see so far, we've picked up a little more than two inches. That's more than the average for sure but well off the record pace of three and a half inches set at this point last month, last year. Well, as we take a look elsewhere across the United States, 38 at Stampede Pass and elsewhere have been pushing off and soaking the Plain States, the Great Lakes and the Northeast. At SeaTac, 53, 47, the, the actual temperatures, the normals are 52 and 41, and two years ago is when our record high comes from, 1997, 63 degrees on this date. The big storm is still off the coast. It's going to be wetting down the entire west coast from California through Oregon, Washington State, and British Columbia as it swings. Seeing increasing clouds and increasing rainfall probably by lunch tomorrow. Here's a look then at my four miles per hour late tomorrow and in the north sound probably uh, well 40 or so from the uh, Whidbey Island up through the San Juans and Bellingham. Uh, so it, it is a still a, a, a storm to, wreck, to be reckoned with. Thickening cloud. It's sort of a break then before the next one comes along. In the mountains it means some gusty winds and those will be east winds which will be coming out of the mountain passes and affect our east side foothill communities in King, Pierce and Snohomish counties where they can get winds tomorrow to 40 miles per hour. Snow level will be at 8,000 feet tomorrow, so snow only on the very highest part of the Cascade Peaks. In the Sound tomorrow, gusty winds in the foothills. Other than that, temperatures in the 50s, with the uh, rain developing during the hour. Winds by the midday. And
nothing. Be direct. Down. In the evening, Stevens Pass, but then lifting, so by afternoon it'll be rain in all the passes. East of the Cascades, a more, well, a, a little bit easier day there with some rain and temperatures in the 50s to low 60s. Let's go to our forecast for tonight, and it has just a few showers in it with lows 40 to 45, maybe a patch or two of fog. And tomorrow, in the morning, cool and cloudy, maybe the rain starting in even before noon, but in the afternoon that rain will sure be here, and it's uh, going to produce the gusty winds in the foothills and the coast in the north sound. Looking at the seven-day planner, Friday is going to be a day with the winds gradually diminishing. Saturday looks really pretty good. Sunday, though, probably going to see some rain develop before the day is over and some wind by Sunday night. November pattern, very typical. Mm-hmm. Harry, thanks. We'll be back. Style set goes terribly wrong. <laughs> then Conan's in L.A. with fitness tips from Arnold Schwarzenegger. Well, sort of. Plus, friends Lisa Kudrow and a Hollywood desk drive, New Yorker style. Conan's in L.A. tonight.